All right, unmuting. Let's go ahead and uh, boop. Ugh. All right, so. Let's see, today we are gonna go ahead and start on Mega Man X5. I'm playing the Legacy Collection 2 version just because, you know, easier access. Uh, I'm gonna leave Rookie Hunter mode off. I've only had to turn it on twice, and it was for dealing with X7 and X8 for relatively obvious reasons. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Oops. Right. Uh... No, I do not want to do that. Okay, just, uh... There we go. What's up? What? I'm conflicted now. Why conflicted? Because Blood and Honey 2 looks good! It's still made by that sh that I think it's still made by that studio that's just like... Just likes to pump out shitty movies for quick bucks. Yeah. So, even though it looks good, I don't know if it will be good. Alright, uh... Gonna go ahead and start. Let's see, I think I'll go ahead and play as X for this one. In the year of 21XX, Mega Man X, Episode 5. Yes, it's ready. Piece of cake. The colony is still alive. I can let it fall at any time. Please let me do it now. I'm getting bored. All I have to do is go back to the Earth and scatter the virus. You're exactly what I expected. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Nobody dares to fight against you except those stupid Maverick Hunters. Oh. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Good. I'm going to Earth to execute our plan. Stay where you are and await further instruction. But I don't think you need to do it personally. Are they really a threat? Are X and Zero really so strong that you can't let someone else do it? <laughs> yes, in a matter of speaking. Zero, I'll show you what you really are, and who your true enemy is. <laughs> this is Hunter Base. Can you hear me, X? Sigma appeared suddenly and moved toward the statue which is under construction. We lost his trail and haven't picked up any readings since. I've lost contact with Zero, too. Where would he go? You can reach the statue by going straight in that direction. Stay alert. Several machines, even some deserted taxis, have become mavericks in the area. Be careful. Oh, uh, the dangers of self-driving cars. The true evil of this world! What a science done! Oh. oh, what a terrible sight. The highway's been badly damaged. 
We've got to find Sigma before he destroys anything else, or we'll be in very serious trouble. So for this stage, we've got the Falcon Armor on. It's basically kind of like a safety net for a tutorial stage. Which I think is what they were going for. Okay. Alright. Go. This building is seriously damaged. The walls could collapse at any second, so try not to get trapped by falling rocks. You can take advantage of the lay of the terrain. Thankfully, that does not insta-kill you. I believe that was meant to be a tutorial to show you, hey, that you can duck. Can you see a red rope ahead of you? Jump and grab the rope carefully. You finally reached the statue. I lost the traces of Sigma and Zero somewhere above you. But remember, the guard system of the construction site is malfunctioning as a result of the Sigma Man. virus. Kick the guard walls quickly and climb them. Oop. That is a big statue. I always do... I always do, like, robot statues with, like, the whole Greek aesthetic. Except here's the thing, we actually have to fight the statue now. Zero! Are you alright? Uh, I'm okay. Just a bit of a bruised ego. Anyway, where's Sigma? He took off. Ilya is looking for him now, but can't pick up any readings. He is a virus. He can't be seen or analyzed correctly like other data. You have to feel his evil energy. That's the only way to find him. I see. Well, you should go back to the base, Zero. You can't fight him in this condition. I can feel him. Sigma's close by. I'll leave here so as not to disturb you, but... I'll check the surrounding area before I go. I can feel him, too. Sigma is very close to us. Be careful, X. <laughs> Stupid Maverick Hunters. You will all feel the true Maverick power right before you die. took a little damage beforehand, so... Are we gonna have to go through the cutscene again? Nope, okay, we can just, uh... We can just fight him again. Alright.
course, he's, he's somehow knocked me into facing the other direction when I'm about to get the kill shot on him. There we go. Why are you mopping, baby? Why are you such a noisy butt? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Uh, darn! That blast released the Sigma virus! It must have spread all over and could cover the Earth by now. All the Reploids are getting severely infected. Sigma! He lost to us on purpose! We have to evacuate immediately! Hunter Base! This is Hunter Base! Do you read me? Are you alright? Any damage? Are you alright? X, zero. The entire Earth has been thrown into a panic because of the Sigma fires. It's dangerous to stay here. Report back to the base. Uh, darn it! Sigma, you'll pay for this! Even if we fight, what good will it do? A battle won't solve the problem. The situation is far worse than expected. Sigma's explosion has spread the virus all over the Earth. Humans and Reploids are in total panic. What's worse, the space colony Eurasia is heading straight toward us. At this rate, it's going to crash into the Earth in 16 hours. Okay, keep that number in mind, because that's a very crucial mechanic to this game. Everything, including Reploids and the entire human race, will be... annihilated. We have no choice. For the sake of the world, we must destroy the colony. But the only weapon we have in the Hunter base that still works is... the Enigma. And it's very old. We also have a space shuttle, but it's been affected by the virus and the autopilot function doesn't work. So we need someone to fly it into the colony and let it collide. It's almost certain death, but we have no other choice. How's the condition of the Enigma? Uh, far from perfect. In order to use the Enigma, we need to build it up with some devices. The Enigma doesn't work as is. Under the influence of the Sigma virus, a lot of Maverick Hunters have become Mavericks, and only a few Hunters remain normal. Let's join forces with the rest of our brothers and complete the Enigma. Alright, so, 16 hours to collision, that is our time frame. Uh, let's go ahead and save. We only have 16 hours left before the collision. We have to upgrade the Enigma before then. There are four Mavericks that have the devices required to enhance the Enigma. Crescent Grizzly, a weapons broker. Oh, they're using the original names. I like the localized names where they made all the Guns N' Roses reference, so this one would be named Slash Grizzly. Which honestly sounds more badass, if you ask me. He has a crystal ball. Tidal Whale. He lives in the ocean. We will have access to hydrogen if we can secure the ocean. Uh, this... So, Slash Grizzly, Duff McWhalen. Volt Kraken, an ex-Maverick Hunter. He has an energy cart. Uh, he was originally called uh, Squid Adler in the localized version. Shining Firefly also known as Izzy Glow. A doctor of engineering, he has a laser device. There are four other Mavericks, but these four Mavericks are the only ones who have the devices to upgrade the Enigma. X-Zero, you are the only Maverick Hunters that can match these Mavericks. Split up so you can gather the devices. To check the devices that you have acquired, press the D key in the stage select screen and go up to the device setup screen. To equip power-up parts, press the C key in the stage select screen. Prepare your equipment and fulfill your mission. Alright. So we got nothing here.
Thanks. All right, and nothing here. All right, so uh, gotta go ahead and start with uh, Crescent Grizzly. I think I'll go with a uh, fourth armor X just to be safe. Why is this not? Give me a sec. Here we go. Destroy the Maverick trucks. Then you'll be able to reach the security warehouse. you can see below is the weak point. If you destroy it, the truck will begin to explode, but you'd better jump to the next truck before this one blows. Then head to the end of the line. Okay, so those are deadly spikes. Got it. If I remember right, there is something up there, but I do not have the equipment to deal with it. Oh, being the silly boy, Mr. Lance. In the tub of cover to barn bow. Oh, here we go. This truck has already begun to explode. Hurry and move to the next one. <sighs> Is this a secret warehouse? I can't tell, but there are strong energy readings. We're getting even stronger energy readings from deep inside. It must be him. Stay on guard. And... <laughs> Crescent Grizzly. And he's a big boy. So, 
You were the famous Maverick Hunter. I never expected to see you. What an honor. We have no time to fight you. Just give me the crystal ball. The virus is already taking control of me. Soon I'll become one of the Mavericks. We're destined to fight anyway. Fight me while I'm still conscious. I don't want to waste you when the virus has taken control. I understand your situation, but we don't have time. Please understand. We're dealing with the fate of the entire Earth. We can't waste time fighting you. Everything is meant to be. No one can escape their destiny. I'm sure you know that, too. Besides, this is part of your mission, isn't it? Now, fight me, Maverick Hunter! Beep, 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 beep. Oh, hey, it's a Koki Frog. Silver's fighting pretty fast there. Oop! <laughs> How you doing, MSO? <laughs> Oop! Uh. He is fighting Hans Molman. Oh, no, I'm fighting a bear. It's a bear, really. It must be, uh, must be around, um, must be around 6 a.m. where you are, because you're clearly fighting pretty fast there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty easy, boss. What are the other robotic bears that you could bring up? Are there? Yeah. The only other robotic I bear I... I can't really name any off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are. The only other robotic bird I can there the only other robotic bear I can think of is the freaking yellow zord from the Power Rangers movie. And that's a pretty specific pull. You got DNA data from the boss you've just defeated. From this DNA data, the special weapon has become yours. Equip weapons using the D and C keys. Every enemy has a weak point. Find the most effective weapon for each enemy. Plus, if you defeat a high-level boss, you may be able to create not only a weapon, but other items as well. In that case, please select which item you wish to create. We got the Crescent Shot and the Crescent Sword, and we got the Crystal Ball. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you would have been playing this, like, during your earlier stream so I could have telecommed, but then again, I wasn't exactly around anyway. Yeah. I just thought that you were playing uh, Mega Man Maker and just sort of was like, yeah, well, I got other stuff to do, so might as well. Yeah. Okay, here, here's an example. He's not really a machine, but, uh, Mr. Grizz. Mm. Huh. Fair point. Uh, this should create. Of course, you have. Of course, you have the bears from both this Gaia and Lapisel Tactics. Eh, yeah. <laughs> the bears from the Vargas boss fight in Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> Let's see. You got the crystal ball. This should increase the striking ability of the Enigma. I'll ask another hunter to do the recovery operation so you can return to the hunter base. Oh yeah, so something interesting I I uh, I heard last night. People think they've uh, figured out what the mystery uh, mythical Pokemon is, the one that's movie exclusive. Yeah. And it has to do with uh, it has to do with um, like you know how where it says the treasure of Area Zero, it has like the four sparkles. Oh, yeah. you got a cut scene. Okay, uh, yeah. go on ahead. No, no, cut scene. Go on ahead. Right. Incoming message from. Uh, sources unknown. Who's this? I've never seen him. Nice to meet you, Maverick Hunters. 
I have no hard feelings towards you, but uh, this is my mission. Before long, I will attack the hunter base. Aw, are Mr. X and Mr. Zero there? Please play with me, I'm really bored. Don't worry, we'll fight like true sportsmen. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I am Dynamo. See you soon. How dare he? At a time like this? Should we even attempt to fight against one so arrogant? Alright. Uh, so we got Crescent Grizzly taken care of. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you don't even have... Oh, here they are. Okay. Uh, trying to remember which one I need to fight next. I, ju I just beat uh, Crescent Grizzly, okay. or Slash Grizzly, so... Alright, then. Oh, right. Then you can meet them. I want to say it was Volt Kraken. Alright, so let me just check for you. Sorry. Uh... Oh yeah, so anyway, you know those four colored uh, stars on the Treasure of Area Zero logo? Like, blue, green, purple, and uh, yellow? Well, everyone sort of figured out that each of them reflect, you know, one of the mythicals that appear in their respective, you know, chapters or whatever. Yeah. Like, blue represents Theropagos, pink, and, or, uh, yeah, pink or purple, whatever, and uh, green are obviously Petrolunt and Ogre Pond, which just leaves yellow. So, what people are thinking is... Uh, you know, everyone before was talking about how uh, Ogre Pond and uh, Ogre Pond, Petrolunt, and Tropagos both reference, you know, Japanese fairy tales and legends or whatever. Yeah. You know, you got Momotaro, and then you have the story about the, uh... Uh, what's his name? Uh, sea Ot turtle. Yeah, what's the name? Uh, Atuin? Okay. Right, well, something I never knew about the... Oh, is it another cutscene, or...? Uh, no, I was just looking up the weakness chain so that I know which, uh, stage to go next. Oh. Okay. So, um, yeah, apparently there's another, there's like another name for the, uh, the time-traveling turtle tale. Yeah. I forget what it actually is called, let alone the other title for it. But apparently the other title uses the, um, the word Taro, just like Momotaro. And there happens to be a third legend with the ending Taro called Kintaro, which literally means golden child or something. Does yeah, have to that, do with a golden child? because Kintaro is but, the alternate name for uh, Sakata Kintoki. Right. So, and apparently in Japan, these three stories are kind of seen as, like, they, they kind of group them together. So, what people are thinking is, okay, this movie Legendary is going to be about, you know, Kintaro or something. But what's funny is how they, how people are trying to figure what the Legendary is going to look like. And mm. they think it's going to look like an ape. And the reason for that is because of, uh, oh, you want a cutscene? Okay. Uh, yeah, start. You know, you, you, you can, is that you, the start you can of the level? when you're out of cutscene. Yeah, sorry, no, I, when you're out of I th this time I just got sorry. so, in, I just got so invested in the conversation. Oh, uh, okay, well, I'm almost done. All right. The reason why uh, they think it's an ape is because in Heath's uh, journal, apparently there's a sketch of, an, of, of the back of an ape, at least it looks like an ape, and in one depiction of uh, Kintaro, he's like, you know, very hairy and bulky and stuff like that. Yeah. So people are thinking, oh shit, what if it has to do with that, especially considering, you know, how Kintaro looks in some depictions. And people are guessing, oh, what if it looks like an ape with like 
Because remember, it's the back of an ace. So what if on the front there's like a symbol for, you know, the letter, you know, the, the symbol for gold on its chest or something? Yeah. But yeah, that'd be, that'd be interesting if true, but... Yeah. All right, yeah, go on ahead. All right. Okay. Wow, it looks like the giant ship U-555 is coming right at you. I don't believe it. It belonged to a marine museum. What an incredible influence the Sigma virus has. But so be it. To secure the sea, we have no choice but to fight against the U-555. Be careful not to get stuck on the complicated terrain. Alright, so this is basically a chase stage. Wow, stuff getting taken from a museum and being brought back to life. Haven't seen that one before, Mega <laughs> Man 7. Actually, technically also uh, Mega Man in base, too. Yeah, that was the opening scene from uh, Mega Man in base, yeah. Also, long-time fans might recognize the background music as uh, Bubble Crab. Yep. If, uh, yep, if... The next two. Yeah, for whatever reason... What's up? They went with the... They went with the remix of uh, Bubble Crab instead of... Uh, whatever the original music was for uh, Duff McWhalen. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right. There was an original... There was another track for this. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh! I meant to jump! Okay, so now I gotta fight the thing itself. Alrighty, one nugget. Yep. I gotta be careful because I'm on my last life from the last stage. Uh, yeah, assuming those aren't fours. Yeah. All right. <sighs> First phase down. Oh boy, 40. Lovely. Alright, so. Six and four. Alright. Reminds me of that one boss from uh, the Fake Man stage in Mega Man 9. Except this came out years before. And I'm dead. So I gotta start that stage again. Oh, that's... That's actually pretty generous. I don't know if it's because I'm playing the um, Legacy Collection version, but it actually let me start back at the checkpoint.
Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, why they think the Gorilla might be the uh, Kintaro Pokemon. It's because the thing with Kintaro is, like, he's like this very friendly, one with nature, you know, kind of, uh, kind of kid. Uh, but yeah. But he also possesses, like, he also possesses, like, this, not superhuman strength, but very... Brute strength. He's very unusually strong. Yeah, I guess so. Because... Yeah, in the story, these three samurai come across him just casually wrestling a bear. Yeah, that sounds like something uh, he was able to do. Yep. So that's kind of another reason why they think the gorilla might be it, just because of the strength. Oh, no, 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 no. What if, instead of a gorilla, he is a bear? Hmm. Well, the reason people are saying Gorilla is because of Keith's uh, drawing, but yeah. Also, we already got a bear in, we, also, we got, well, not a bear of mythical or anything, but we kind of got, like, a special bear in terms of, like, the Blood Moon bear. Well. So I don't think they would cop, I don't know, I don't know if they'd copy that, but, I mean, there's no guarantee it's even going to be a Gorilla. People are just sort of speculating. Theorizing, yeah. But it's why, but, it, but it's why people are kind of yeah. sticking to the idea. Oh. Yeah, you got it. What is this place? Are you in an old sunken ship? The U555 is trying to escape. It went deep in this direction. Follow it. Okay. Give me a second. Alright. Got him. Nope! I did not want to dash that way. Alright. I, I keep thinking because I have the falcon armor on that I can do the flying around thing. I'm not sure what I'm missing where I can't do that yet. Alright, there you go. I yep. hit the jump button so that I could hover? What are you talking about, game? You know, I will admit one other thing that I do find rather interesting about the Kintaro sort. Yeah. Is I mentioned the three samurai, samurai like see him wrestling a bear. Well, they also try to recruit him because hey, they're off to go fight demons or something. And eventually, Kintaro becomes their leader or something. Oh yeah. And I'm just like, wow, okay. I'm like, okay. So these three warriors recruit someone else into their uh, into their company, huh? Wonder if that's meant. Wonder if uh, if they actually do go with this. They're gonna try to do like some kind of I don't know Unova reference. Cause that sounds like a certain quartet of legendaries from <laughs> Unova. Like wow, are they gonna do that on purpose? <laughs> well, to oh, be well. fair, if they do go for the Sakata Kintoki reference, they would have to go with the other, f with the rest of the four Heavenly Kings that trained under Minamoto no Raiko. Hmm. So it wouldn't be that uh, unheard of. I'm trying to. F uh Alright, so I'm trying to stay up here so that I don't get crushed by the ship. No, alright. And, uh, empty. Oh. Yep, this one. And that one's gonna be, uh, empty soon. Yeah, today has not been a very good day. Pretty much wall-to-wall -wall the entire time. 
Uh. Oh well, he'll come off tomorrow. Dang it! There we go. And I think now I am at uh, Duff McWhalen, or sorry, Tidal Whale. A wall of spikes on the other side of the room. That's not ominous at all. Oh, welcome, X. I'd like you to let us use this ocean since it's nearest to the hunter base. We need to produce large amounts of hydrogen. Do you intend it for nuclear fusion? So then, you are going to use the good old Enigma. Y yes. If you know that, then please cooperate with us. X, I'm a man of the sea, and I will not allow you to use my sea freely. You might think I'm stupid, but you'll have to fight me. I understand. I accept your challenge. There we go. Actually took him out before he became a threat. Well, that makes up for the difficulties I was having with the main level. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's see. Weapons and life, or weapons and energy? Um... I think I'll increase my life. You got the Goo Shaver mm -hmm. and F Splasher. Uh, hydrogen. We can produce hydrogen from this ocean. If only the Hunter Base worked, then we wouldn't have to take water from the ocean. Now please return to the Hunter Base. You have another mission to complete. All right. All righty. Emergency! Dynamo is attacking the Hunter base. Fight back immediately. Oh, so... And we can't select any of the other stages, so we have to... Uh, uh, let's see. So we have to engage Dynamo.
Nice to meet you. You are X, aren't you? The famous and persistent hunter. Who are you, and what do you want? Well, to stretch a point, I want to disturb what you are doing. Oh, don't worry. I just want to disturb you. I don't intend to kill you. <coughs> but you wish to fight to the death, don't you? No, we don't. Well, if you fight me and die, then I'm sorry. But I'll play less than my best. Now, <coughs> shall we let the battle begin? X? I forgot how good Dynamo's music is. Yeah, honestly, Dynamo's music is unreasonably good for a character who only pops up like a couple times, isn't part of the final battle, and isn't meant to show up ever again. Yeah, no. Even though he does so, even though he does so in X6, but X6 wasn't even supposed to happen. That's why I, you know, that's why I'm saying he's not meant to show up anymore. But yeah. Guess, guess you can say he's not a very dynamic character. Ah. Wasn't a groan, but it wasn't approval either. Just strictly in the middle, and I'll take it. There we go. Okay, got the fight done. Yeah, there was there wasn't really much to say that, but like he said, he was fighting less than his best. Ugh, just as I thought. You are strong. You never let up. I'll retreat with this result. But I advise you to relax a little, or you'll die from all the stress. <laughs> well then, adios, amigo. <laughs> All right. Ooh, got a life uh, up part. Could definitely use that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I believe next is Volt Kraken. Watch out for that first step, it's a doozy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Volt Kraken's stage, at least the first half, is pretty notorious. Okay. Ah! I made the first jump! Oh shit, and you have and you have to be like you have to go through it a certain way too, or else the door at the end doesn't unlock, I don't think. Yeah. And behind there is, like, I think an armor part, but I don't remember what armor part it is. I... What is that? Mm. Nope. I missed that one. I think, what was it? In order to get that armor part, you specifically have to... Oh, come on. Yeah, there's like certain things you're supposed to collect or something along the path. How but, do I keep missing yeah. them? And then that, that one was just me. That was dumb.
Actually, yeah, I might as well. Mm. Okay, spicy down. That was perfect. What? Oh. Alright, I got close to the ground. That was good for us, okay. Dang it. Yeah. It's basically like Quick Man Stage. You gotta memorize it by trial and error. I hit the jump button. What are you talking about, game? Why did they not grab that? Hmm. I hit the jump button. What are you talking about, game? I keep... <sighs> okay, MSO. Uh, you would probably know more sub about this than I would. Is there, like, some kind of lag or buffer when you jump on the jetbike stage? God damn it, people will not stop yelling. Okay, I think I heard what you said. Something about, like, whether or not there's some kind of buffer or lag or something. I'm not entirely sure about that, actually, but... Yeah. And I missed that one. Uh... I mean, there might be, but after all, it is the jet section. <sighs> Damn it! Uh, at this point, I might as well save the the whole completionist stuff for later. Yeah, I was gonna say you might as well just go through the level and then just go back for it later. So this is not a fun level. <laughs> yeah, if you're going for completionist, it is definitely not a fun level. I just think you have to do it again as zero. Oh, God. Actually, now that I think about it, I, I, actually, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think anything is behind there for zero. I think it might just be an extra life or something. I'll have to look it up. Keep forgetting about where there's a lip. I hit the jump button. What are you talking about, game? Why are you suddenly turning? Yes. Why are you suddenly turning oh into an Italian, huh? I have no oh idea. Silver got so pissed off he turned into, uh, what the hell's his name? The guy who runs the Quickie Mart. <laughs> Apu? Yeah, yeah, it almost sounded like you were trying to do, like, a Hindu accent or something. Or an Indian <laughs> accent, I should say. I, I Thank know you. Italian, not Indian. Thank you, come again. So it sounded like, I you hit some fucking what are you talking about, dude? Like, I don't know, that's kind of how it sounded to me, really, but... Yeah. <laughs> and people will hear different things sometimes. Well, there's also the fact that I'm in a well. There's also the fact that I'm in a noisy kitchen, so there is that. Yeah. yeah. You need to stop dying, babe. What do you think I'm trying to do? Smartass. <laughs> oh no, you have, well, a you have a bad, Forrest, you have a better Forrest. name for me than that. Okay, Forrest. Obviously. Of course he's dying on purpose. Nothing turns him on more than watching X die, so that way he can have Aelia all to himself. Okay! <laughs> that, I 
was not expecting that direction. Did you ever play I was gonna make, I was gonna make a I was gonna make a joke about like I don't know, Alia somehow falling for Dynamo just because of how suave and, you know, despite his arrogance, he looks rather cool and suave and everything. <laughs> As I was saying Yeah. I mean, you know you have a better name for me than you smart ass. Oh, of course I died at the end of the segment. Oh, that actually really sucks. And then died Ooh. at the beginning. <sighs> okay, I think we need to shut up so he can focus. I mean, technically, that was the yeah, stuff on like, while we were talking. I wasn't talking about you, Koki. About me and, and like I said, that was his Damn best it. run, and we did he did it while we were talking. But all right, I'll keep quiet. Oh, what's up? All right, actually, okay, yeah, there's a couple splits left in there. Actually, yeah, that's about it. There we go. Ah, finally there done with go. that segment. What's up? See, he was out of focus better because we were staying quiet. Hello? Are you alright? You couldn't walk here because the terrain was too badly damaged. Even the ride chaser nearly didn't make it. Uh, we actually crashed it, so... Yeah, I'd say... Multiple times. I'd say it outright <laughs> didn't make it. <laughs> By the way, did you notice that there are energy items along the way? Those energy items and the door in front of you seem to be corresponding. If you have the items, shoot them at the door. Then the door may be opened. I think you have to can't grab like as all of them I think I think yeah. it's either all of them or you can only afford to miss one or two hmm. uh, no response still it seems you came close to destroying it maybe you only need a few more energy items so hmm. we'll have to take this route a lab scientist oh, yeah. In to... oh still going uh, go ahead a lab scientist is in custody. Save them and let them escape. There may be some cartridges in this laboratory that still work. We want to obtain one, don't we? So this is a mechanic that they introduce in this game. Basically, we can rescue hostages. And depending on the hostage that we rescue, we can get, uh, we can get some items or we can just do it for completionist's sake. Uh, the lock system of the shutter is broken. If you attack the lock system, it will give power to it. You could possibly open the shutter this way. However, since the lock system is almost broken, the circuit will soon break again. Please keep aware of the amount of time you will have to open the shutter. Yeah, in addition to what you were, the joke you were saying about the, uh... The uh, ride chase or whatever. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, uh, like, like, oh yeah, the ride armor almost didn't make it. Yeah, about that. Uh, Alia, we have insurance on those, right? <laughs> no reason, just wondering. Okay. Why? What happened? Nothing. <laughs> but. Uh. I'm just. Look, I'm not saying that I crashed it. I'm saying it, it was it would be declared a total loss. Look, it's just a fender bender. We can buff it right out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Commander Cygnus. No, I am not letting you borrow mine. Uh, there are two kinds of lock systems. The color oh, of the shutter and the lock system correspond to each other. Okay, so... Purple lock for purple I'm sorry, door. I'm just imagining... I'm just imagining someone as big as Cygnus on a bike like that. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! All right, so three. Oh. 
Alright, um... I don't want to grab another thing. A 10 to 1? Oh, shit. Yeah. Lovely. There we go. I need more quarters, too. Oh, boy. All right, duck under here. Screw it, damage boosting saves lives. Yep. Actually, is there anything over here? Oh, right, that's the other armor route. Oh, I forgot, saving these guys also gives you extra lives. So that's actually a pretty good incentive for uh, rescuing them. There we go. Boss room time. Adler, or sorry, Volt Kraken. Volt Kraken, will you do me a favor? This is how you greet me after so long. No, nice to meet you again, or I'm sorry. Not even a hello. How rude. You have not changed at all. I'm sorry about Launch Octopus. I wasn't referring to such an old story. You destroyed him because you are a Maverick Hunter. It's your duty. Your mission. Well, I got fed up with the hunter jobs, that's why I quit. Not because of Octopus. Please, we have little time left. Give me the energy cartridge. You are free to take such a worthless thing. But what a simpleton you are. Even if you get it, you can't change the fate of the Earth. Every Reploid has been infected by the virus and become... No! He's been infected, too! Oh, Maverick Hunter, you will be terminated, just like you did to Octopus. So, as I why the hell does he keep? Why the, hell, why the hell does he keep saying Octopus? His name is Octopodro. Ha. <laughs> <Just> kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the original translation, but yeah. Anyway, go on ahead, what were you saying? Uh, if I remember right, in the lore, uh, Volt Kraken and Launch Octopus were basically treated like brothers. Yeah, they were made by the same manufacturing organization or, or company or whatever, so they were practically brothers, if I remember right. But yeah, it's pretty close to that. They at least, at least, at the very least, they had a relationship that was very fraternal. And there we go. All right. Full Kraken's down. I'm getting... I'm trying to get used to referring to them by their 
actual names because uh, <laughs> I'm just so used to their yeah. localized names. I mean, it's pretty good lore, you know, like you're kind of dropping lore like I usually do. Yeah, let's see. You got DNA data you know, from actually, you just DNA, to yada yada. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Were you trying to say something, Forrest? No. Oh. oh, it's just when you sigh so heavily like that. Uh, there's something else on my mind right now. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna need more oh. life. Got the Tri Thunder and the E Blade. Got the energy card. You got around so many traps. Thanks to you, we now have a precious energy card. Kraken used to be a hunter, but had become a maverick. It must have been hard for you, even though it was your mission. Let's restore the peace for him. Yeah, I was gonna make a joke, and I was gonna make a joke about, about like, you know, oh wow, you know, woods and octopi getting along. You know, I wonder how the you know inklings and octolings would have felt about that. <laughs> but then I realized, huh? Wouldn't it be cool making like a? Um, I wonder how. Uh, Split Adler and Launch Octopus would look, uh, you know, platoonified. I kind of want to draw that now. Which is what I was actually, which is what I was actually going to say, but then I was like, oh, what's well, going ahead? Because you yeah. were saying the uh, reading the cutscene lines. Yeah, let's see. But yeah. Uh, Fortress Lab infiltration. We're gonna go ahead and, I believe we're going after. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Izzy Glow. Uh, fourth armor for that. Shining Firefly. Yeah, I forgot how good the music in this game is. We can learn lots about Dr. Firefly just from looking at this laboratory. He's the world-leading authority on laser technology. Therefore, the laser he created will be of great use to the Enigma. I hope he'll willingly give one to us, but I heard he is a very stubborn person, so this might not be easy. Platforms can't be destroyed, so you'll have to time it just right to go through. She's referring to these spike traps. I think I need the fire weapon to get through that. Oh, there you go. Keep your heart, your heart. You should proceed by stepping on the platforms. Yes, thank you, Aelia. Oh, and sexy. Lovely. Ooh! Oh. Right! Sigma Virus are here. Can't do anything about them at the moment. Yeah. The most you can do with this, the Sigma virus apparitions that show up is outpace them. Oh, thank you for that. Break the door that you can see below and proceed to the next room. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh. I thought I was going to get squished. 
All right. Ooh, spiral staircase. <laughs> hey, MSO. Remember that one bit in um, Shadow Over Mysteria? Oh yeah, that's right. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna reference um, X4 and how there was a spiral staircase in that one too. Well, that too, but Shadow Over Mysteria <laughs> was more recent, so. Yeah. Oh right, this mini boss. Uh, I believe. Oop. I believe the black one, the odd one out, is the one that we need to destroy to do damage to this mini boss. All right. All right, I assume that turn is the one that you split over before then? That one, that's the one you split over before, that turn? Well, I already got the 20, so... So, oh yeah, there is another thing I forgot to point out. Uh, I forgot to point out whether or not it was in the previous levels, but you notice that thing in the corner that says normal. So, that has to do with those Sigma Ghost apparitions I pointed out earlier. I'll go over more after this cutscene. The defense system is engaged. It attacks you with powerful plasma. If you have some kind of weapon, you may be able to neutralize it. Right. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, the Sigma Ghost Apparitions. Uh... At first, they're harmless. You can actually make body contact with them a couple of times, and you won't take any damage. But, uh, eventually that thing will go from normal to caution to, I believe it says danger. And mm -hmm. once it gets to danger, uh, X will start taking damage over time. Like there, that was the second. Um, that was the second that I have stocked up. So now I'm in danger. I believe if I touch any more of those, then I actually start taking damage. Doctor Firefly's room is above you. There are several plasma defense devices installed on the way to the room. Use a weapon that can attack upward. Haha, uh -huh. I'm in danger. Time to fight Shining Firefly. I like how they went through all the trouble to get all the shading in that background, and and they didn't even bother actually animating it. How dare you bust up my lab! This laboratory is so badly infected by the virus, there's no other way for me to enter. <laughs> You hunters always do that. My work is not for Maverick Hunters. I've never trusted your approach. Therefore, I won't cooperate with you. Doctor, I don't have time to argue with you. Please understand. My body 
has already been infected, too. I realize I may have been wrong, but it's too late to change now. I've made up my mind. Now let me rest in peace. Oh, I'm gonna play. Okay, well, no one said anything about playing, so. God damn it. Alright, um. Oh, wait, you have, an, you have an extra roll right here, so. Alright. Let me get that in for you. Alright, come on, behave yourself. There yeah. we go. Yeah, a lot of these bosses, their weaknesses just totally gimp them. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say was, you thought, I'm not gonna cooperate two seconds later. Maybe I was wrong about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> then again, it's not exactly in that context. It's more like, I might have been wrong, but, you know, dot dot dot. Alright, do 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 do. Uh, weapons and life. We got the Firefly laser and the Sea Flasher. And we got the laser device. And we got a life up for that. It looked like a quiet laboratory, but the inside was in complete ruins. The Sigma virus has caused total disorder everywhere. In order to fix the situation, we need to make good use of Dr. Firefly's laser device. We finished taking the laser device back to the base. Thank you for your help. We'll meet you at the Hunter Base. Alright. At last, the Enigma has been completed. It's old, but we reinforced it with some devices. It should work fine. Well, we're ready. The time has come at last. We are going to launch the Enigma. The fate of the Earth depends on it. The energy, the power, the angle, everything is clear. Alright, blast off! Blast off! Blast off! So apparently it's a dramatic anime, anime rule of three. Did we make it? Did it crash? Mm -hmm. Alia, give us the report. Negative. We destroyed only 62%. Uh, if I remember right, that number is actually randomized each run of the game. We've merely made it change orbit and delayed the time of impact. Ugh, curses! The Enigma was not successful. No, but we have a backup plan. Let's concentrate on our next move. Alright. We will execute the shuttle operation. Don't give up hope. The future of the Earth depends on us. This is our last hope. The space shuttle operation. The shuttle will approach and fly into the colony. The pilots will eject at the last minute. It's very dangerous because they could get sucked into the blast. In the end, I fear that this will fail, just like the Enigma. We need to gather as many devices as we can to strengthen the shuttle's power. But the autopilot function doesn't work. Okay, gather as many devices as you can. We'll try to upgrade it from here. This is the last chance for us. I know this mission is hard for you all, but the important thing is for us to stay optimistic. Now let's get to work. Our only hope is the space shuttle. We can't waste any time. Let me describe the four mavericks that have the devices to upgrade the shuttle. Spike Rose Red. Uh, English name is Axel the Rose. Or, no, Axel the Red. Axel the Rose is the actual singer that it's referencing. My mistake. Uh, details unknown. He carries the concealed orbiter engine. If I remember right, the lore says that 
he is actually a mutated Reploid. Let's see. <laughs> okay, this, this name sounds metal. Burn Dino Rex. A weapon storage guard. He owns a booster for rockets. Uh, in English, his name is Matrex. Spiral Pegasus of Repliforce's air wing. An orbiter wing is at his base. Uh, his English name was simply the Skyver. Dark and neck. I need. Hmm? Listen, Lance is trying to shove my legs off my bed. <laughs> Let's see. Dark Necrobat. He's a greedy spot thief. Dark Necrobat, a mysterious maverick. He has a fuel tank. Uh, Dark Necrobat A, his English name is Dark Dizzy. And B, apparently um, he was such an unimpressive Reploid that Sigma essentially forgot he existed. Like, he kind of just hold up... The, I thought the original lore was that he was actually a Reploid that Sigma himself created, or did that change as well? Yeah. I didn't remember. I think, I think it was something like... I think I think both were the case, but it was something like well, Dark Dizzy's just hold up somewhere. Well, we'll have to look it up and uh, yeah. give confirmation during the next stream. We have little time, but we have to gather as many devices as possible. Uh, let's see... Uh, who's next on the weakness chain? Uh, gotta fight Dark Dizzy. Escape the space trap. I will oh. say, though, I do like Dark Necrobat's design. At, fir uh. at first glance, it may seem like an ordinary planetarium, but in truth, it is also a space laboratory. Why don't you borrow a fuel tank for the space shuttle? But before you do that, there is something strange about the planetarium. So, the Sigma virus has already polluted this facility, too. Your visit to the planetarium will be very interesting, I guess. Whoa. I have a bratty gatto on my lap. You have a bratty gatto? I have a bratty gatto. Silly kitty. He's the poor cat. He is the sweetest of bubba rats. You are. Oh, right, because I have the fourth armor on, I can just. I just have access to the charge shots. I'm picking up a Maverick reading at the Constellation. Watch out. So you see these Constellations that show up on the wall? Enemies pop out. Only now can he go under the blanket. What are you, 50? Alright, let me grab these nuggets for you. Actually, let me get you some more boxes. Oh boy. Well, I guess you need to get on the, on the I guess you need to get on the lift. It is unstable, but there's no other way. Uh the bed. Hey boy. Uh -huh. 
Watch out for the track! It isn't moving on the right course! If you sense any danger, jump to the nearest place as soon as possible. Oops. So that's Alia warning us that sometimes the platform will move around pretty erratically. And you just gotta duck here. Ah, uh, damn it. Eh, couldn't reach that. I'll have to do it on another pass. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do it. This is the gravity reverse device. It can control gravity and turn it upside down. Of course, you may be able to take advantage of it. Flesh! I hit the jump button. Come on, game. I hit the jump button. Come on, game. Alrighty. Perfect. Come on. There we go. All right. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, just enough. Oh. Alright, I already got those two down. Alright. Now then. Dang it! What the? We're gonna have to get that down. Uh. God damn it! Game closed on me. Oh dear. Uh, give me a second. I'll pull it back up. The good thing is we save between levels. Uh, give me just a second.
Look away for a second. What happened to the stream? Yeah, um, the the game crashed. <laughs> huh. Like at least the stream's still going. All right. Uh, Put out the stream on. Yep. Give me a second. Give me a second. Putting the cocom feet back up. There we go. All right. Wonderful start to this game. Well, to be fair, we actually got past the halfway point. I mean, I'm technically technically he's three quarters of the way, or not three quarters. He's technically a quarter of the way through. I say oh, a yeah. quarter because I'm including a zero playthrough. Well, assuming you're gonna do that. We'll see. <laughs> so it's like you're halfway through this one, but technically a quarter through the entire series. Yeah. Uh... You know what I mean. Return to the title screen, yes. Alright, continue. That's the one I was looking for. Load previous game data. Yeah, already seen this cutscene. Go for it. I just realized, Harriet does something really similar, but with her, in her case, she pees on plastic bags. What? Like it's... Okay, so I have a similar deal with uh, Harriet, where she chews on, like... Well, with, with Gwen, she chews on cardboard. With Harriet, she chew on plastic bags. Like, I have this little waste bucket in the bathroom, and every time she tries to come in with me, the first thing she'll do is go to the waste basket and start chewing on the bag. Well, Lance will try to do the same, which is why I don't leave plastic bags around where he can get them. <laughs> Alright. But that's the thing, Harriet doesn't touch cardboard boxes, like, she'll go in them, but she'll never chew on them. It's only plastic bags that she'll do it with. It's weird. You're lucky. Alright, so it was uh, Dark Necrobat stage that we were at. Let's try this again! Yay! Come on. Oh. Given this was the stage the game crashed on, I guess you could say the program spaced out. There you go. Okay, that's not three. No, then. I guess I need to get on the lift.
I botched that jump again. Oh well. And if I remember right... Dang it! Ugh. There we go. Screw it. Damage boosting saves lives. Dark Necrobat. Scree! I've been waiting for you. Hey, can't you understand the urgency of our present situation? There's no time to fight. Scree! Who cares? Also, I noticed you were trying to avoid using the gravity of the situation as a pun. No class. I don't take orders from anyone. The word Sigma means nothing to me. I'll destroy all mavericks like you. Squeak! I'm always ready. Shining laser makes this guy a joke. And boom. Probably one of the easiest bosses the X series has to offer. Uh, dark hold. 
And the fuel tank. And we get a life up. Dark Necrobat had an unusual past. He was a maverick created three years ago by Sigma. But you've destroyed him. Since Sigma scattered a large amount of the virus, he doesn't have any energy left to reproduce himself. By the way, we found a fuel tank. Now the shuttle will be able to fly to the space colony. Please return to the Hunter base quickly. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, I've been fighting the Sigma virus for a long time. It's the virus that causes all Reploids to transform into Mavericks. The most dreadful virus to ever exist. Why? I wonder why I'm not harmed. Instead, I feel energy growing within my body. What on earth is happening to me? I have a bad feeling about this. That's all of the report on Zero. Zero has fought Sigma several times. I believe he has the virus antibodies. It's possible. He doesn't react negatively to the virus. His power output is actually growing. For the most part, the body systems of X and Zero remain mysteries. I can't predict what will happen. I suggest you take measures. Keep this secret. I'll think it over. His power is growing with the virus. It's too dangerous to keep them loose. Please, at least do something about Zero, before it's too late. I think I can go for one more stage, and then we'll call it. Uh, let's see. Uh, who is next, then? I want to say it's Spiral Pegasus. Yes, it is. Destroy the time bombs. And I like some of the lore that this particular one is like a holdover from the Repliforce from X4. Mm, yeah. You can get the Orbiter Wing from the Repliforce's air wing. But I can't believe the Sigma virus could have gotten to the Repliforce's air units. Darn! Someone set the bombs! They're small, but do not underestimate the firepower. Destroy them before they detonate. So basically, you gotta act quick, otherwise they will damage the screen! Hmm, needed that. Dang it. Yep, there we go. And that took out about a quarter of our health bar. There are bombs above you. Climb up and destroy them. Oh man, remember these guys? Hmm. The... what's the enemy called? Giga Death? I forget, but, um, you can also kill this because there is, um, uh, you, 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 you got, you got really muffled, I can't hear you. Oh, um, you can also tell this is Repliforce because of those, uh, round humanoid Reploids, the ones that are blue. Yeah, Nambare, I think they're called? Yeah, I believe so. But those blue ones are exclusive to the, um, the, uh, character or something. Oh, there's no ones, I forgot about them. But yeah, I think these colored ones are just like exclusive to the, uh, the DLC, Black Bear Brigade, I remember. <laughs> I have to look it up again, but yeah. It's like, hey, remember these guys? Ah, oh, crap, nope. Yeah. I do like how those, uh, those Reploids are colored, though. Those are pretty cool. The ones that are firing the missiles at you. Yeah.
Oh yeah, those two and double. <laughs> just don't look at him. Just don't look at him, and he'll go away. Just do not look at him, and he will go away. There is a Sigma virus thing following behind me. Do not look at him. He will go away. Alternatively, hey, wow, look at how ridiculous this is. Let's all point and laugh at it, and maybe it'll go away. <laughs> Yep, we do. I got one for you. There you go. To the right. There you go. There are more bombs ahead of you. Dispose of them as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, but first, let me get these down. Okay, spikes. Okay, got a uh, heart tank. All right. Ooh, extra life. Needed that. And there we go. Okay, this is a pretty cool fight scene. We get to fight on a plane. <laughs> X, I've wanted to meet you. But considering the situation, we don't have time for small talk. Soon the Repl Force's air wing will fall. You may be our only hope. But you'll have to convince me first. Through battle. You may actually remember during your um, Zero Four speedrun, or not speedrun, playthrough, I actually made some comparisons to um, to Claire to this guy, given their similarities. Yeah. Ah! You almost knocked me off the edge. And now, admittedly, you're like. Oh, hey, this is so cool, we get to fly out on a plane. Technically, you did that in X1, but with the way they have it set up here, yeah, it's much cooler. Yeah. Like, running along the wings and stuff, yeah. Oh, to get... <laughs> oh, And there we go. I think we are at a good stopping point for tonight. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what I can do about actually co-comming with you tomorrow, since I do have tomorrow off. Nice. But I'll have to check to see if, I, but I'll have to check to see if uh, anything is going to be going on tomorrow night. All so, right. Uh. I believe so. Yeah. Got the Wing Spiral and the W Shredder. And we got the Orbiter Wing. Life up and Burst Shot. I didn't expect to have to fight against Repliforce again. But since most of the Repliforce members have become Mavericks, I guess that was inevitable. Fortunately, the devices for the shuttle were not damaged, but the Repliforce's air wing was destroyed. It won't be safe there anymore. Come back to the Hunter Base. I'll have to go back there anyway if I want to get that W tank. You want to take home the W before we go? <laughs> because losing it, losing it the first time was an L. Hey. <laughs> 
I'll be honest, I actually forgot about that, so I couldn't have even directed it to you. Yeah. Oh well. Uh... Emergency! Dynamo has come back here to attack. What on earth does he want? Well, it doesn't matter. We have to fight him. So, I guess next stream, we're gonna have to engage Dynamo. Again. Alright, but before we do, let's, uh... Call it here for tonight. Uh, let's see who we can raid and what we can raid with. Uh, the Vega Quest drop my idea. Um, all right, they're coming up right now. Let's see. We've raided Sayu earlier. Ooh, we can raid Tom, who's doing more shiny Quagsire hunting in Pokemon Coliseum. We can raid Masay, who's doing some 16-star speedruns in Mario 64. Uh... There's Soul playing Astalon Tears of the Earth. Hmm. Aelita is currently playing some Hatsune Miku Project Diva. Mayumi Orno playing uh, Lethal Company. Yeah, let's go ahead and raid Tom. And we'll raid with our default. Nobody expects that Shinobi Inquisition. All right. Uh. Actually, I was gonna say like, if you want to make it have to do with the stream, how about we've got a shuttle to ride? A shuttle to ride. To be fair. No, no, it's like no, 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 no. We've got a shuttle to ride. It's like it's you know we've got a ticket to ride. Oh, he's yeah. got a ticket to ride. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. It might be a bit too long, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. I will oh, probably be streaming the rest of the X run. Uh, nah. don't know. Don't know if I'll start the zero run uh, tomorrow. We'll ha we'll have to see what goes on. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's go ahead and raid.